Well, hi there. This is a 1992 Hoover Commercial dual purpose C1409 commercial upright vacuum cleaner. How they have the nerve to call it a commercial is beyond me. But anyway, that's what it is. I've owned this machine for quite some time now, probably a few years, I would say. And in this video, we are going to look at this cleaner's sister machine, which is in this box right here. So let's get this open and see what we've got. As you can see, this is the red and black version of the C1409. And uh, for many, many years now, I've wanted the other one, the other version of this particular cleaner, which I think is slightly newer than this one. I think this, this is the original. And then there was another machine that replaced this red and black version. I have to say, I rather like the red and black. I think this is quite a nice um, combination of colours. Not the best vacuum cleaner in the world. Let's not kid ourselves. Again, as I said earlier, how they had the nerve to call this a commercial machine is beyond me because our American friends will know instantly, even just by looking at the back, that this is actually a Hoover uh, Elite uh, Legacy machine. I think it, ha it had some other names as well. I'm not particularly up on all the different American Hoovers. I, I, I'm by no means an expert on them, so you guys will know that there were probably loads more. But they all had this uh, arrangement at the back. The motor is here at the base. Uh, the motor and fan is like all one unit and everything sort of attaches to it. So the, it uh, attaches to the chassis, the back body attaches to it here. And uh, yeah, we actually had this cleaner as a, a normal, um, domestic vacuum cleaner in the form of the Electro, uh, Electrolux, oh, Electrolux, what? The Hoover Turbo Light, which I think came out in 1987, something like that. I do have one upstairs. I've been meaning to do a video on that for ages, but it's in the attic. I can't get to it, so it's a bit tricky. But this machine is essentially a Turbo Light. So again, commercial, mm, yeah, not entirely convinced, but that's the red and black version. And we have this box here. Now this machine came up on eBay a while ago and uh, I bid on it, I won it, and it came. Uh, so before I went on my holiday, it turned up and um, I haven't even had a chance to get it out of the box yet. I hope it survived. I hope the seller packed it okay. Ooh. Let's see the tape is. I'm thinking I can probably split the boxes apart. There's two boxes taped together. Hopefully they'll come apart like this, which would make it a bit easier, but we shall see. And I do have a story to tell you about this, this particular cleaner. I can get it out of the box, <laughs> we'll have a look at it and I'll tell you the story. So let's work our way around. It seems to be coming, I think this is working. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's put our trusty knife down and now hopefully we should be able to open this up and see what we've got. Oh, it's quite well packed, but that's good. Yeah, we've got loads of packing again. Looking promising. Let's remove all this. God, there's loads again. I love it when people pack the machines properly. I'm sure we've all had situations where uh, machines just turn up thrown in a cardboard box and then you get the heartbreaking situation where the machine that you've been looking forward to is now to pieces. But I don't think this one is. I think this is going to be pretty good. So let's pull it out. Oh, come on. Oh, it's like the old boy. Ah. There we go. Out, 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 out. Oh, wow. Oh, it's hot. There we are. Good. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Well, so far, so good. We're looking all right. Let's, um, let's slice through all this and release it from the packaging. You have to stand up. 
hide my cat tummy. Oh, I, think the, I think the tool caddy's come off the side. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, there's the tool caddy. I'm just going to release it a sec. So let's put that there. Okay. okay. Well, it looks like it's in one piece. So that's a massive bonus. We're almost there. Ah, ha, ha, look at that. Oh, what a beauty. What a beauty. Oh, we've got a stray bit of plastic. Oh, that's the height control knob. <laughs> that's come off. All right. Get, that. Get off. So much packaging. Ta-da! <laughs> God, a faff. Oh, my life. So this, as you can see, is the all black version of the 1409. Now can I fiddle with his knob? There we go, let's pop his knob on. Now can we get this uh, tool caddy on? That would be nice if we could. Let's see. Uh, oh, I think that may have broken. Oh yes it has, of course it has. Yes, it's broken. Um, all right, I think we're going to have to do something with that, guys. So, yeah, I don't think the tool caddy is particularly strong, and I think the plastic's broken. But it might... Will it sit there? I can't really see. Um, yeah, kind of. All right, well, I'll, I'll sort that out. Don't, don't worry about that. It's just a few screws, so we'll just, we'll just take it off. We'll just take the tool caddy off. Uh, everything always breaks, doesn't it? So there's a screw here that's sort of hidden behind the dust box, and then a piece of plastic's broken here. But it's all right. We can we can sort that out relatively easily. I think before we give it a run properly, um, I will take it up to the workshop and just see if I can just get that tool caddy back on. Um, apart from that, it's not in bad condition. I will say it's yeah, it's looking pretty good in many ways is actually better than the red one. So the story I've got to tell you, oh actually hang on, hang on, let's have a quick look, let's see what, what age this one is. Oh it's not bad underneath, brush rod's slightly worn, it's done some work but it's not too bad. Um, oh that's interesting, oh that's interesting, actually this is a this is a C1417, uh, I beg your pardon, I thought this was the same model number but it's not now I've learned something there yeah I've, I've, I've learned something there I thought I thought they were both the same model number I thought they were both C1409 but no this is a C1417 um, let's see if they date stamped on it I thought I did see one um, hidden it's very difficult to see in this light oh yeah there is oh, well, there is a date stamp in there, but it's kind of moulded really badly. Let's see if there's anything on the bag door, inside the bag door. Let's have a look. Oh, we get a bag as well. That's right. Good. I, th I think that's a Tim Power 2 bag. And some free dirt, which is always beneficial. Um, any stamps? Nope. Can't see anything here. Interestingly, this this machine has um, a European style serial number on it, so I can date it. But this one, it has the American style serial number. It's very it. They've polished it with something, and it's very slippery, which is a bit odd. A free paper clip as well, so we'll definitely keep that. But yeah, this is a. American style serial number. If I if I read this out to you, um, it's a C1417-903, 230 to 230 volts, and the serial number is 06000001056. So that's the 12,056th machine made at whatever time this was. So I suppose. 
I suppose we could say it's a 2000. Because that would make sense, wouldn't it? If it was a six, if it was zero. But if we, if we put the model number in front, 141706. So that could be June 2000. That would make sense because they were still making these. Oh God, it's, I don't know what's coming out here, but there's all, all kinds of rubbish coming out of the machine. Um, yeah, let's say it's a, it's, it's a year 2000 machine. Um, if you guys know any different to that, please tell me. Uh, but I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go that it's uh, it's a 2000, which does kind of make sense. Now the story that I wanted to tell you about this, let's put this back on. A lovely full bag. Um, was back in 1996. One of my early jobs. Um, I was 18 in 96. Um, I was the one of the evening cleaners at uh, the Tesco Penzance Superstore in Cornwall. Now the previous year in 95, I did um, a checkout job at the local Safeway. It was Safeway back then, it wasn't Morrison's, it was a Safeway. So the summer of 95, I was stuck on the tills. <laughs> and I tell you what, it was awful. It was just awful, I hated it. I hated every single minute. So I did that for the summer of 95. And then the summer of 96 rolled round and my parents said, get out of bed and get a job, you fat git. And I was like, I really cannot face going back to the Safeway supermarket. And I can't face going on the tills again. I'm just like, no, I really don't want to do it. So I had to find another job. And in the local paper, they were advertising for evening cleaners at the Tesco store. So I applied for it, had had the interview, got the job. And one of the machines that they had there for cleaning that Tesco store was this Hoover commercial, this 1417, the black one. So for many years, I have wanted one of these because it takes me back and it reminds me of the summer of 96 when I was cleaning that Tesco store. We used to use this machine to clean the office areas. That was the only thing it was really used for. Um, and sometimes we used to use it uh, when the store had closed. Because back then, supermarkets were not 24 hours. The store would close and we'd use it for cleaning the green mats. And it never did a particularly good job. It really didn't. Uh, and I think just because of its design and the fact that it's got paper bags in it, paper bags clog up and I don't know if you know this but um, commercial cleaning is very different to um, domestic cleaning. The dust is much finer. You get this really nasty fine black dust uh, and that just covers everything. So the offices were, always had this black dust and the carpets were very thin pile. You know, they, they were uh, probably Almost like carpet tiles, actually. That's that's probably the best way I could put them. They were carpet tiles that you had to vacuum. And yeah, they just used to get covered in this dust and the vacuum cleaner would pick it up and then just lose all its suction. You'd use it twice and we, you know, put a fresh bag in it, use it twice, and it just had no cleaning ability left. And what I did was I, I actually sold them um, a Hoover commercial U7008, so the big, the big boy, um, the proper Hoover commercial, what we would consider to be a Hoover commercial, I sold them one of those. And I can I can remember clearly to this day, is an old boy there called Den, he was the cleaning supervisor. I can see him in my mind's eye. He was only a small man, he was really small, pushing this great big Hoover commercial back and forth over the green mats uh, that were by the produce. Um, and, and he also used to use it. He loved it because you could do the you could do the front mat. And back then, those front mats were like metal metal mats, huge, great big things that covered the front of the whole front entrance and exit of the store. Um, and it had really deep channels in it. They were like um, a good two centimeter deep channels on these mats. And that commercial, the U seven double zero eight, 
could get into the mat and it could suck up because it moved so much air because it had a cloth bag on it, none of this paper bag nonsense. It would just clean the mats and he was over the moon with it because he could just go back and forth over the, over the front mats, over the green mats. It would gobble up everything. It never got blocked. It never broke down. He absolutely loved it. I kept using the 1417 for the offices. <laughs> so that was my <laughs> that was my machine really. I I, I got that one. Um, but yeah, it was absolutely useless for proper hardcore commercial use. So that's the story of it, and that's why I've always wanted one of these black ones. And it's been a, I I don't think I've ever owned the black one. Obviously, I, I own the earlier version, but the black one, no, never owned it. Until now, which is great. Now we do have the hose. Um, but I don't think we have any other tools with it. There's no rod in there. No, the, the tool caddy is empty. Um, I re remember looking at the pictures on the eBay listing thinking, are there any tools with it? But no, there's no tools, which is fine. because We've got the tools on this one anyway. So I think what we should do is plug this in. Where is the switch on these? Um, well, it should be here on the side, but it's not. That's weird. Okay. Because it's on the side here, on this one. Yeah, that's what we have to do. Then. Slide your switch, clack, 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 clack. But it seems to be missing. I don't know if you guys can see there, but it's actually missing. So maybe this is just going to be on all the time. Perhaps it's broken off. Let's plug it in and see what happens. No, well, it's very quiet, isn't it? Okay, well, that's interesting. How do you turn it on then? Do you slide that up? I don't know. I don't know. Um, well, this is slightly embarrassing, isn't it? Because I really wanted to show you the machine working. I'm going to have to pause the video here a sec, guys, and see if I can work out what's going on with this switch. So I'll be, I'll be right back with you. Okay, so <laughs> it turns out you need a screwdriver to turn this one on. Because you've got to like put it in the in the hole and like slide the switch up. I suspect we can do something with this. We'll, the, the, there's going to be a workshop video on this cleaner, so we'll we'll put some kind of knob in and uh, see if we can do this. But yeah, for now, if we slide it up. <laughs> It's working perfectly well and it's exactly how I would expect it to be. <laughs> ah, that is, yeah, that is it. That is that is exactly how they are. Um, they're really terrible on the tools, really, really bad. E even worse, I would say, than the equivalent turbo power, which is really quite something when you think about it. Um, yeah, this machine's going to need some work. It's going to need some love uh, and some care and attention, which is fine. We can do that. It's great. You know, it's more videos. We can see it inside it. Um, I think we're definitely going to need, need to take it apart. It sounds to me like the cooling fan is loaded with crap, so that's going to need to be um, looked into. 
It's been a long time since I've been inside one of these, a long, long time. So that's going to be really interesting for all of us to, to actually get inside it and have a look. It definitely needs a belt. And I think the brush roll needs a service as well because it doesn't feel quite right. Um, so yeah, we'll do that. And obviously we need to put the tool caddy back on. That's fine, we can sort all of this. Um, we'll make a little switch here as well, a, a little switch nubbin. Um, so we can actually turn the machine on and off without a screwdriver. Um, but yeah, I mean, this, it is what it is. It is what it is. If it's from 2000, then it's, what, 22 years old. By no means the best machine ever made. Interestingly, I've just seen it in the light here. If I look at this just right, because the window's over there, you see, and the sun's shining in. So someone's tried to remove this from the hood, and it says block... 135 up is that yeah upstairs upstairs yeah block 135 upstairs so this machine must have had a life cleaning a block of flats i would say uh block 135 it kind of makes sense that it would be flats wouldn't it um so yeah it's uh that's that's where it's been used oh god it is really that's all the dirt in it it's really Oh, it has it has definitely been used. But let's let's just get let's just get its ow let's get its brother machine up and then we can see them together. You can see the fourteen oh seven and the sorry the fourteen oh nine and uh, the fourteen seventeen in the same place. And there they, there they are. Look, the two sister machines, nineteen ninety two and two thousand. It's quite cool, really. I don't think I've ever seen these machines together in the same place before. This is the first time I've ever. Well, it's the first time I've ever owned one of these, and it's the first time I've ever seen the early and late machines in the, the same place. I don't think there were any other versions of these cleaners. If I'm wrong there, please let me know. But I don't think there was. I think these were the only two that we got in the UK. And I suspect Hoover stopped selling these probably around 2000. So this is going to be a very late one, one of the last ones. I think, I think I'm right there. Again, if I'm wrong, please tell me, please let me know, because it's always great to have the history of these cleaners. But yeah, there we go. That's our pair. Um, definitely going to be more videos on this one, because we need to sort it out, give it a service, um, get it up speed, and then we'll, we'll give it a go. I think actually we'll We'll, we'll use both machines in the same video and we'll do a compare and contrast early versus late. See if there's any difference at all. See if they sound different, actually. Um, I don't think they will. This is 630 watts. So let's see what this one is. It's probably going to be the same, I would think. Oh, no, it's not. This is 400 watts. That's interesting. So they upped the motor wattage as well when they changed the, the model number. They went from 400 watts to 630 watts. I see something else I didn't know. I, had, I genuinely didn't know that. Uh, it's, that is really interesting because they are different machines. They look the same, but they have a different motor in them, which is pretty cool. So yeah, there we go. That's it for this video. I stick my head between these two. <laughs> uh, thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. Um, I'm sorry this machine was not as good as I thought it was, but you know, with some work, it'll be fine. But anyway, um, don't forget to comment, subscribe and like. I always love hearing from you and uh, you guys take care and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, bye. Oh, before you go, I've just realized something else. This machine has an air freshener. I'm gonna move it down so you can see it. Look, it's got an air freshener on the top. But this machine does not. It's been deleted. Look at that. No air freshener. So there we go. There's another difference. Cost reduced. Mm. Anyway, take care. Bye.